Hey guys, what's up? It's Kim Nonstop. Today I want to talk to you guys about perfection. No sweaty crunches, hardcore ab routines, or drunken yoga-ness. It's just me talking to you. And the reason I'm doing that is because sometimes I think it's important to hear that we are all human. I'm a fitness person, right? Like you watch this channel, you know that I do fitness. And sometimes people are like, your body is perfect. And I'm like, cool, but I'm not perfect. I was gonna shoot this real talk outside where I usually shoot my other real talks on action and uh, fear, but I decided to shoot in my room because my room's a freaking mess. And I think that's a great place to start to tell you guys that I ain't perfect. I have a healthy body that I very much enjoy uh, wearing sports bras in and working out in, but that doesn't mean that I'm perfect. Uh, God knows I'm not. My closest friends will tell you that they know also that I'm not perfect. Twerking. I am pretty bad at twerking. I do it anyway because why not? Math. I am horrible at math and I do it anyway because uh, the world requires me to. Organization. Terrible at organization. Really a not organized person. Sure you can tell by my room. All of you are coming to my channel probably to seek some kind of self-improvement, right? Because we want to get fitter, we want to get stronger, we want to get healthier, all to better ourselves and to live better lives in our bodies. And so part of doing that is to be able to acknowledge that we're not perfect and we don't want to be perfect. Like, perfect is boring. And when you see someone like in a magazine, you're like, she's perfect. You're not seeing that person. You're seeing a picture, like two dimensional and turn it over and you might see, I don't know, wrinkles, gray hairs, uh, anger streak, I don't know, impatience. When you come to this channel to better yourself, take in mind that we're not here to be perfect. It's not what we're doing. Like, absolutely not am I trying to turn any of you into perfect bodied, boring Barbie dolls or Ken dolls. They don't even have anatomy. Like. How much fun could that be? Take what you are good at and never forget it. Like, never sell yourself short. You're creative or you're, like, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna say to myself, I'm creative, I'm funny, I'm outgoing, I'm brave, uh, I'm silly, I laugh really loud. These are all things that I really like about myself. Uh, I'm, I have a great vocabulary. I'm generally pretty good with grammar, but you know, I'm bad at math and I'm bad at organization and I'm bad at being on time for things. And I know that all these things are that parts of me that I can work on. Um, and I like having the opportunity to work on them, to always get better, but to never get perfect. You know, I've had a really roundabout way into my career in fitness. I got fired from my waitressing job. I remember the night so clearly. I was in Philly. I got fired from my job. Uh, it was raining. I was riding my bike home. I hit a pothole. The front wheel came off. I hit the ground. I got home. I was locked out. I got into a fight with my boyfriend, probably about the fact that I was locked out of the house and can't keep track of my own keys. You know, it was just like this awful day and it also made me feel really like incompetent. Like I can't hold down a job. I can't keep my stuff together. I, you know, went to school for theater. What good was that? What am I doing with that now? You know, I'm waitressing in Philadelphia. Like, uh. Then I found fitness and I started teaching at a studio and that sort of roundabout brought me back to feeling like I was doing something worthwhile. But you need those lows in order to find who you really are. Like those low points, that night where I was soaking wet, soaked in dirty Philly rainwater, without a job, getting fired from waitressing, with my boyfriend yelling at me for losing the house keys, like that night, that was like, that was a nice rut to crawl out of. And it got me on track to where I am today. I mean, it was years ago, but never discount that like when you're not perfect and when you're feeling like all you can see is your imperfections, well, guess what? You have nowhere to go but up from there. So it's not a bad place to be. Embrace your imperfections. Embrace those moments where you're like, not really sure how the hell you're gonna get out of that situation or how things are gonna turn around for the better. Embrace the things you're not good at because that's what makes you human, it makes you you. 
And if you didn't have things you weren't good at, you wouldn't be good at other things. Like you would have no measure, right? Perfection is just like a plateau. And we don't want a plateau. We want to always be striving for better. Let's keep life interesting and keep it imperfect. And keep striving for better. I'm Kim Nonstop. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to share it with a friend, that would be even better. Share it with a friend. Share it with the people you know that are especially hard on themselves. Let's subscribe over my acne. Let's see, I got makeup on, but there's, there's one right there. And my thighs touch. Oh, this is so good. I love this. No thigh gaps. No. Oh, the braids, my fake braids. These are fake, by the way. Uh, duh.